So now we have our app downloaded, um, just pretty much with any other app. When you uh, first open it up, it should take you to the home page. Uh, our home page is down that bottom left hand side with that little house. Our home page on our Plymouth app is going to show you um, some of the things that we're trying to draw your attention to. Uh, so for instance, we have our uh, upcoming worship bulletin, a link to live stream or service because we can do that uh, through the app as well as we can still do it on YouTube. Uh, if you're more comfortable having a bigger screen uh, and still do it on Facebook as well. Uh, so you can still get to your normal channels, if you will, to live stream. But um, if you don't have those or if you have a tablet at home and you have the app downloaded on that as well, um, you can live stream it. Uh, every week we have our fellowship, uh, Zoom fellowship starts at nine. And then any, again, other things that we want to, to kind of share with you to, to, again, draw your attention to. Um, all of this information, too, is within the app with those other links that I'll, I'll get to in a second. But uh, kind of going back up to the top, so you can click on any of these, and it actually will give you uh, whatever it is you're looking for. So, for instance, uh, our worship bulletin for um, Sunday. This coming Sunday will be here, um, and then you can, of course, scroll through and see. This information, too, is actually on our website, uh, so you can actually get to that and even print from the website if you prefer a printed version. But um, if you just want the online version of it, especially if you're attending in service uh, in person, um, you can do that. Uh, if you want to live stream our service, you can click the live stream button. You can click to watch. Uh, this one, of, of course, hasn't started yet, so it's not in there, but you can see we got a countdown. Uh, you can even set a reminder um, to let you know when that service is going to start so you'll never, never miss a service. You can uh, join if you want uh, to join the Zoom fellowships in the morning on Sundays at nine o'clock. Clicking on that icon is going to give you the little bit of detail about it and then the link to Zoom. And then you can obviously jump in there and see. Um, what you also may have noticed uh, in the couple other ones is we have this little kind of recommended uh, view down here below. So there's other options that will let you kind of jump into other parts of the app. Don't have to by any means, but there's just some things that are kind of face up again to kind of help show you all the different things that um, we have going on. Because there actually is a lot of stuff that's going on um, within the church Um and so we want to make sure that you're aware of it. Um, our identity statement of four voices. And then um, again, at the bottom of our home page, um, we have an option for a prayer request. And so um, you can certainly um, always call Pastor Mac. Uh, and I'm sure he'll take your calls and, and do that route. But if you want to send like a little electronic one too, you can totally do that. Um, so if you click on prayer requests, you see that it's right there. What it does is it's automatically going to generate a message. And so your message may not contain the request itself, but it may even uh, contain a, hey, please let me reach out to me, you know, whatever the case may be. But everything is in here. It automatically goes to a pastor. So nobody else is seeing those except for uh, you and him. So that is our homepage. Um, the next videos that we're going to do is we're going to actually cover each of the buttons down below. Um, I'm going to go a little bit out of order because it makes it a little bit easier, but we're going to touch resources next. I'm going to skip give and skip connect, and I'm going to go events, connect, and then give. So uh, we will talk 